Hi, welcome to the studio. Um, I am throwing a mug. So the first step is to throw your clay on the wheel, hopefully in the center. Add a little water and then use both your hands, centrifugal force and pressure to center it on the wheel. Well, got a little something in there. All right, let's get this puppy. It's fighting me. There we go. And the next step is to open up the shape to give it a bottom. And then pull it towards yourself. I've got an air bubble in there, so it threw me off. There we go. So you want liquid uh, so that it, it, you don't create friction and burn, burn your skin on it. Um, and the next step is to pull the sides up and create the walls of your vessel. Let me get a better sponge. Yeah. All right. So, depending on how thick you want the walls of your mug, um, which I usually try to go for kind of thin so that it's not as heavy when filled with liquid, you can pull your walls up a few times. And the last time you pull them up is kind of when you determine your shape, which we are just going with a straight up. All right. So then you empty out, use the sponge and get any water that may be in the bottom of your vessel so that when you take it off the wheel and it dries, it does not crack. All right, and I am defining a foot on the on the bottom of the vessel so it's easier to pick up off the wheel. So then you take your string tool, run it underneath. There you go. And pick this puppy up. <laughs> and that's it. Hi, my name's Reno Chile. I'm a potter and artist by trade. Um, I also do watercolors and oils and tie-dye, uh, but pottery is my main focus. I've done art my entire life. Um, I started as a child, you know, crayons and oil clay and took a pottery lesson at age 10 and got the bug. I started planning for the studio about two years ago. Um, I've been collecting pottery equipment for about a decade before that. I have always wanted my own workspace to not have to share a space with other people, uh, to kind of develop my own rhythm of working. Um, the studio itself has taken about eight months to complete and has I am so stoked to be able to participate with the South Carolina Arts Commission uh, by receiving the Artist Venture Initiative grant. Um, that has been very helpful in my journey to beginning a pottery business. Uh, I have sold things on and off for about nine years, um, but this is, this studio marks the beginning of like a legitimate business. <laughs> My focus over the past 20 years has been to develop the skills to produce whatever I can think of. And I think the next stage in my intention is to take all these skills and learn how to share them in a way that makes it possible to continue doing this uh, and eventually share with the community what I've learned.